Hi friends, Anne McKinnell here. Today I'm going to show you how you can replace the skies in your photos using Photoshop or Luminar. So let's get started. So here we are in Lightroom and this is my Vibrant Skies collection. Just thought we could have a quick look through and see what kind of skies we have to choose from. There's some sunsets and some blue skies and some dramatic cloudy skies. Okay, let's move over to Photoshop. Here we are in Photoshop, and this is an image I made in Utah, and as you can see, it has a very boring sky, so I want to replace that with one of my images from my Vibrant Skies collection. So I am going to go Edit Sky Replacement. So this dialog box here opens, and it's just automatically picked the most recent sky that I used. So I'm going to click this down arrow right here and what I want to do is get my sky replacement pack into this tool. So I'm going to click on this little tiny gear icon here in the corner. I'm going to pick get more skies and then import presets. Okay, now when you downloaded the Vibrant Sky collection, or whatever collection you're working with, you would have downloaded a zip file, and you just double click on that, and it will open a folder with all of the image files and this .sky file. So when you import the preset, you're looking for this .sky file right there. So I'll click on that, and then click Open. And then, as you can see, this folder is now part of the sky replacement tool. So you'll only have to do this the very first time that you try to use a new sky pack. So I'm going to expand it here and I'm just going to pick one of the skies I want to use. And there we go. So you can play around with some of these other sliders and try to get the foreground to match the lighting conditions of your sky. For example, I can maybe move this color adjustment up and you'll see how it changes the foreground of the photo so it matches a bit better. And then I'll simply click OK. And now when you're back in the uh, main Photoshop layers, you can see that Photoshop has put all of the layers for the sky replacement into a folder. And you can expand it. So you can go and into any one of these layers and make further adjustments if you wish to do that. Okay, so I'm just going to turn that layer off so you can see the before and the after. And now let's take a look at how this works in Luminar. So I'm going to make a copy of this background layer first, and then I'll go Filter, Skylum, and I'm going to pick Luminar AI. Now this will work exactly the same way if you launch Luminar from Lightroom directly or if you're using Luminar Neo, it all works the same way. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is click Edit and then I am going to click Sky AI. And under Sky Selection, you can pick All Skies and you'll see the various sky packs that are already in here. I want to add my Vibrant Sky collection to this list, so I'm going to click Show Custom Skies. This will open your Finder or your File Explorer and show you where your custom skies need to go. So I'm going to open another one of these windows, and I put my sky collection right on my desktop when I unzipped it, so I'm going to collect uh, click on my folder, Anne's Vibrant Skies, and I'm going to copy that, and I am going to paste it into this custom field here. So now this Vibrant Skies collection is underneath the custom folder. I'll go back to Luminar, and now when I click the sky selection, you can see Anne's Vibrant Skies is now part of this tool. So you'll only have to do this once, and from now on, when you go in here, this sky collection will be automatically right here. So I can just click on one of these skies that I want to use, and there it goes. 
Now similar to Photoshop, you have some other um, sliders in here that you can play with to try to make the foreground match the lighting conditions of the sky. So I can click Sky Adjustments and I can defocus it or change the warmth or the brightness. Uh, I like to go in Scene Relighting and play with it with this Relight Strength slider here and try to make the foreground match the background. My Vibrant Skies collection is available using the link below and subscribe to my channel for more tips. Bye for now!